Let's look a little suspicious. A little suspicious. Hard. We've been to classes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, motherfucker. It's not falling on deaf ears. It's falling on the ears. They've heard you and they've decided they do not give a fuck. Humans don't want to die. trying to see okay Roman went on cnn the other day and he responded to joe manchin attempting to completely obliterate the build back better bill the biden administration seems to be trying to continue negotiations with him but we'll see how fruitful that is it seems like he's drawn his line at the child tax credit because alleviating child poverty is a terrible thing what kind of party can't stand up to a guy drawing that line is i think I'm gonna go grab a cookie. Gross. It's the Democratic Party. Let's elaborate a uh, reason that he. I don't know. It, it should be. Well, they had no layout. prepared offensive. Biden. It's been widely reported that he's he, my friend. Yeah, he had faith in his 37 years in the Senate and the way that he was be able to have good faith negotiations with everybody and anybody. Uh, doubt those negotiations were as fruitful and as healthy and as important as he probably remembers them but regardless uh he clearly had no idea what he was dealing with here with joe manchin someone who does understand is representative jamal bowman here he is talking about the other angle uh and the important emphasis here of how racist also joe manchin's opposition to these proposals are is this bill disproportionately supports uh, people of color. It supports people of color. It supports women. It supports children. It supports those who are poor and lifts them out of poverty. Uh, why wouldn't Manchin want to support that when this would benefit uh, West Virginia tremendously? It's tremendously frustrating for me as a black man in America because once again, it's an example of Joe Manchin as a white man showing that he doesn't care about black people. He doesn't care about Latinos. He doesn't care about immigrants. He doesn't care about women. And he doesn't care about the poor. He is a millionaire, and he has the privilege to kick the can down the road and not vote for this bill while the people in my district are suffering. Okay, and then you might say to him, if you're like the skeptical centrist type, well, <laughs> representative. Yeah, I basically waited out. Jack said basically waited out. So there's so much desperation that people are dying. I mean, they can do that, but here's the thing. Humans don't want to die. <laughs> and if you push, push people in a corner. And also, I feel like, I feel like the bourgeoisie and like the political class in Washington, D.C., they're so disconnected from the people that they don't even realize how much they are pushing us in a corner. Like, we are about to scratch their motherfucking eyes out, and they do not see it. They're not hearing the aggressive, you know, growls. Bowman, how naive are you? And fine, you represent your district. Joe Manchin will represent his. Ben Shapiro, as we mentioned, as we showed in the clip yesterday, uh, was scoffing at the idea that Ilhan Omar could have... Uh, any support in West Virginia because, you know, he couldn't attack Build Back Better, better on its merits. He had to run to a racist trope about Ilhan Omar and basically uh, condescending to West Virginia and saying that she would not have any popularity there. Um, Manchin and, and, of course, Ben Shapiro in this instance are forgetting that there are non-white people that live in Virginia mm -hmm. and they would be disproportionately affected by this bill not passing. Here is a thread um, from... The, uh, the somebody who works with ProPublica here at the Appalachian Outpost reporting on West Virginia. Bradley, if you could pull this up. Um, he's a MacArthur fellow. This is a, a thread that he had on how tanking the Build Back Better bill would affect black West Virginians. Uh, if you could scroll down to the next tweet. Build Back Better includes $162 million dollars in environmental justice initiatives to clean up legacy pollution, monitor emissions, provide job training and affordable housing in communities that have largely been left behind by systemic inequities. Uh, also have a lot of union protections that would be really helpful considering all the 
I would say thousands, I'll say a rough estimate, but at least thousands of people that are trying to either unionize or that are use, uning, they're using their unionizing power or their union power right now. There are definitely some things like it does not do enough. The climate change is bullshit. The, um, like the child stuff, like there, so much stuff got stripped out of it. But one of the things that, uh, if you are a radical socialist communist, uh, from if you're looking at it from that perspective, there are some union protections there that would be incredibly helpful for organizing. So, although I don't, I didn't think it was going to make. No, I don't want to say that. Leftists begrudgingly wanted this bill to pass, right? It was some crumbs, and we need to give some crumbs to the people who are, you know, to people who are crumbs to people who are starving are better than nothing. But um, it's also a joke. Let's put it that way. Joe Manchin has the good boy, the good old boy mindset of I've got mine, fuck you. His corporation contribution skyrocketed right before he said no on the bill. And this look a little suspicious. A little suspicious. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. And again, this is why I think they're disconnected. They're a little disconnected at the actual percentage of the population that is paying attention. Our ProPublica and uh, I think that's Mountain State Spotlight story this morning illustrates how black communities face double the cancer risk from toxic air pollution that otherwise similar white communities face. And down here, yes, Institute is one. Chuck says we buy it. We do. We do. Hard. We've been to classes and shit. Thank you, motherfuckers. One of the only two census tracts in West Virginia with a majority black population. It's home to a historically black university. It's dominated by one of the most uh, dangerous chemical plants in the country, Dow Chemical, whose union carbide subsidy owns the plant, has said the facility is safe and it's reducing emissions. Dow did not respond to requests for comment. Local activists like Pam Nixon lobbied and rallied for months, hoping to convince Manchin to back the legislation and its initiatives to make places like institutes stronger. We need these, Nixon said in, at an October rally. These are not entitlements. Senator Joe Manchin did not answer our questions about environmental justice, but his office said that he continues to monitor conditions in institute so it's more of the same for Institute residents like second generation activist Kathy Ferguson. I feel like we've been crying out for help so long and fallen on deaf ears. You guys can check out that reporting at ProPublica, but I wanted. It's not fallen on deaf ears. It's fallen on the ears. They've heard you and they decided they do not give a fuck. Falling on deaf ears makes it seem like. If you learn how to do sign language, you could communicate. It implies that they are not understanding what's being asked. They know exactly what's being asked. They know exactly what they're doing. They just don't give a fuck. And to pull that up because even if you're, one, we're talking about the popularity of Build Back Better provisions like the child tax credit in West Virginia, which is true. But polling is not, it, it, it's not the best footing to make an argument on. However, there are tangible consequences for many of the provisions in this bill, including the resources that would go towards communities like Institute and people in his district who he's pretending like uh, are in opposition to this bill. Yeah, I might upset some people with this. I'm not super thrilled with Bowman's rhetoric there. And I understand that that's what's winning in uh, the left edge of Democratic Party politics. Um, I think it, and I think it's all true. And I, I don't think there's anything untruthful about it. But um, Joe Manchin is fine with black people if they're capitalists or Latinos if they're capitalists or, they're, or women if they're capitalists. He did say poor people. He did say poor people. But like then you separate everything into when you could just say working people. And we know what that means. And I don't think that this sort of um, bifurcation is going to be helpful, frankly, um, because I don't think people care about poor people in this country. <laughs> like, I think I think we empower people as capitalists or uh, uh, like by capitalists and then we don't care about the rest. So like I but then I, from a framing perspective, it's probably the right thing to do. 
is it gonna is it putting heat on Manchin to say he's racist or to say he's um, uh, attacking the working class? Like I I don't think he I don't think he cares about people calling him racist. But I don't know. We'll see. I I, I mean he's it's both. He's racist, classist, and sexist. I, I'll just say like look I understand that this is the vernac the the rhetoric of uh, like say squad types. Um, and they've won more than say like maybe the people who would focus more on a working class message, and so I don't really have a you know a, a representative stand on here. Um, I'm just worried about that because I I, I don't know how efficacious it's going to be in a fight like this. I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, I I I think like there is there is a larger audience in that clip than just Mansion, and there's like the pressure that that creates. And when you make the scope of it more expansive, and you also appeal to like I don't know. I, I, uh, poor people's good but like i don't know i i just think like uh, i don't know i think i i think it i think maybe i'm wrong i'm not saying i'm right about this i just i just i'm less i don't see the f i don't see the straight line for like i, I don't think the people that are going to be spoken to that that feel um communicative with bowman in this sort of uh, speech that mansion cares what they think yeah yeah Look, I hear your argument for sure. Um, I, I, I hear what you're saying for sure. I mean, you should be able to pitch it as he doesn't care about poor people or people of color. Like, include those people in the same class so they understand they're on the fucking same team. And they're not going to do that, but... Okay, well, that's annoying.